Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. Have you noticed a theme in the scriptures these last few word for the day devotionals? Thursday, Johnny discussed the many different opinions people have on the end times. Friday, Pastor Rick read a few verses from before this chapter in uh, chapter 24, most notably verse 36, where it says, However, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the, the Son himself. Only the Father knows. And yesterday, Peter encouraged us to live expectantly of Christ's return. Well, today's parable in Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13, has a very similar story. I'm going to read him. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten bridesmaids, who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The five who were foolish didn't take enough olive oil for their lamps, but the other five were wise enough to take along extra oil. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, they were roused by the shout, Look, the bridegroom is coming. Come out and meet him. All of the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some for yourself. But while they were gone to buy the oil, the bridegroom came. Then those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was locked. Later, when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he called back, Believe me, I don't know you. So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or the hour of my return. These last several word for the day devotionals point to the fact that we don't know when Christ will return. We don't know if it's going to be before the period of tribula tribulation, during, or after. And we don't understand how much time we have. So we should heed the instructions in God's word. Luke 12, verse 40 says, You also must be ready all the time, for the Son of Man will come when least expected. And then in 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, it says, The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sin. Keep in mind, this scripture was written over 2,000 years ago when it says the end of the world is coming soon. So my encouragement is to live with joy, expectation, and enthusiasm because Jesus himself says in Revelations 22, verse 20, Yes, I am coming soon. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.